better lighting. You do. Let me see. Perfect. Oh, this yeah, is what perfect. it takes, guys. Before the event, getting beautified. We're about to rock it out. I'm excited. So what? So what are you gonna be doing a demo today, right? Yeah, it's a screening um, of the show that I'm on, Fault Line, mm -hmm. which airs on Al Jazeera English. But um, we're doing a screening, a Q&A, and then I'm doing a food demonstration to pretty much teach people or give people the solution. Okay, well, if I live in a food desert, then what can I do? It's a barbecue kale. Um, yeah, which is really good because it's not cooked. Mm -hmm. So the kale, the greens really oxygenate the body, really give life, and it tastes good. And you don't have to put, like, any turkey bones or turkey neck in it. And that's not saying that there's anything wrong with that. Right. Other than the animal <laughs> dying. <laughs> but, you know, there's an alter, you know, alternative solution. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> deals with some of the food issues, like food yeah. deserts in D.C., which you'll learn a little bit more about on the documentary. <laughs> and so the way she counteracts that is a raw food. Oh, should we get kale salad? Yeah. I kale my pizza last night. <laughs> Allison Carney, a recording artist from here, our nation's capital. I am a true Lauren supporter. I believe in healthy foods, natural foods. I'm actually moving towards a healthier lifestyle, so everything she does, I'm totally in support. And today, as we're talking about food deserts and the importance of being able to have access to foods, better foods um, in our country and abroad. So, and I, I totally support that. Elise, chef executive. Yes, assistant. executive assistant and sous chef. So, today, we have uh, Vondapool Gourmet has partnered with Al Jazeera. Okay. And Lauren was part of an expose exposing food deserts, um, which are places in the United States that have a lack of resources to be able to have good food, grocery stores, you know, fresh produce. And so Lauren did an expose on Southeast Ward 8, which is statistically the most obese place in the United States, and she exposed that, you know, all we pretty much have are liquor stores, corner stores, and carryouts. So, we did the documentary, and now we're doing a viewing and discussion of the documentary, and Lauren is doing a food demo all to go right, along with great. to show people that you can eat healthy and it can taste good. I just spoke with your assistant, Missy Lee, and so she's fabulous. So, yeah, she we just is. want to come see you and get a little bit of insight on your event, and I know you're excited. It's a big day for you. Super so. excited. Yes. Super excited. Well, we're going to be doing a food demonstration and having a screening of the show Fault Line, which highlights food deserts and obesity in our country. Q&A, and then we're going to segue into our food demonstration. Oh, yes. I'm excited. I had and a little by the sample. Way, by the way, I do want to highlight the fabulous chef's jacket that I have on. Um, Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera English, if you don't know it, is... Uh, one of the fastest growing channels in the war in the world. It's been on air about four, three and a half, four years now. And uh, we're now in about a quarter billion homes. And Lauren Vanderpool is going to give us a cooking demonstration right before the holidays. Um, this is really exciting. Elise, who is Lauren's assistant for uh, Vanderpool Gourmet, Elise is passing around exotic pinto bean shot and candy yams with crystallized ginger. I'll tell you this, I'm from Texas and I eat a lot of beef. Um, <laughs> these are vegan, and if I could eat that all the time, I would go vegan. They are absolutely delicious. Uh, Lauren is a fantastic cook. I've been to one of her demonstrations before, the one you'll see in the show, and I actually took that recipe home that night, made it for my family, my kids loved it, my wife loved it, I loved it, so uh, I'm really excited about her cooking. It's enthused our, our family and, and eating healthy. Chef, you know, and I like to have fun with my food, and I like to create food that maybe I've never created before on the spot, using whatever it is that I have. So I'm a, I'm a chef that uses what I have to create something um, that's healthy and nutritious. Back to the, you diced red onion. Yes, I've got some red onion. You go for vegetables with color. Oh, I always.
always tell the students that I work with, and just people, period, you know, eat the rainbow, eat lots of uh, foods with bright colors that are vibrant, because it's also going to make you vibrant, and also going to make you just completely energized. For example, onions are um, a very beautifying food, it has sulfur in it, sulfur is excellent for building the connective tissues and the collagen, there's a lot of foods out there, like the apples, the skin of the apple has, has silica. Silica is also great for building strong bones, healthy hair, healthy skin and teeth and things like that. So a lot of times for adults, you know, a lot of times we want to go and get the Botox and all that stuff. Very unnecessary if you're eating foods that have those, um, those things. Now, I do support my local farmers. These apples and these onions are locally grown. But I'm a Caribbean girl. What can I say? I've got some papaya on deck. And the reason why I've got papaya is because a lot of times, again, we're doing this for Thanksgiving. A lot of times, uh, we're eating foods that are hard to digest in our body. A lot of times, meats, they digest um, in our body. It takes about 16 hours or so, and then you're compounding it with, with more food, so it's really um, hard to process. And what happens is that um, the foods that are in your body end up turning into parasites and things that we don't become cancers and things that we don't necessarily need. Papaya is excellent because it has an enzyme in it that naturally digests the food in your body called the pen. And um, that is why I'm putting this into my greens. Not only does it enhance the flavor, but it also ha enhances the nutritional value. Tell us where you are now. All right. Well, we've added a uh, we've added our Annie's barbecue sauce, natural barbecue sauce, no corn syrup. Um, but actually, that's not it. It's down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's natural. We've added a little, um, about a two heaping tablespoons of um, <coughs> mustard. And right now we're just kind of mixing it all in. We added a little bit of cayenne pepper. And uh, now we're just getting it all worked in to kind of make the leaves more tender. Then we'll be ready to sample very shortly. And I didn't add a lot of, um, I, I just did the papaya, the onion, and the apple. Very simple, but again, with this, you can add whatever vegetables you have in your uh, refrigerator. Add some bell peppers, um, which is actually a fruit. I had some tomato, you know, get creative with it. And children love this. I make this for um, the schools when I go to my food demonstrations, and they just, one child, one uh, kid told me, this is five star. <laughs> <laughs> educator, health educator, and I work with children who are obese, and I wanted to see the film, and also one of my children to be involved, as Chloe and Thea, so they can see the importance of healthy eating. Okay. So I'm going to learn to fly in Roosevelt Senior High School, Okay. and Lauren was doing her thing then, mm -hmm. so walking around with a gallon of water and her, and her trail mix, Okay. so I told her I'm very proud of her for transforming her lifestyle into a career.